Issue 14, An Introduction to Character Development Character development is something that doesn't often come naturally to new writers. There is a tendency to have an idea for a plot or a setting, and then create the characters like one would for a tabletop game, like Dungeons & Dragons. You give them a set of stats, a set of powers, a backstory that involves dead parents and a mystical old man in a robe. And, if you avoid the power fantasies, there are benefits to this approach. It can show inborn weaknesses and tendencies. It can give them a history that informs their motivations and actions. But there are also a couple of problems. In tabletop games like D&D, a character usually only grows more powerful. But a real, relatable character should have just as much ability to get weaker as they do to get stronger. And, to take it a step beyond, the balance of strength and weakness should be dynamic. To explain how to do this, I'd like to take a moment and talk about pressure. Now, when you hear the word pressure, you're probably thinking of it in a more negative way. There is pressure to get things right, to finish something on time, to get bills paid, to keep the dragon from burninating all the villagers in their thatched-roofed cottages. But a lack of pressure on a person can be just as devastating. A character with no expectations of themselves and no external pressure will probably accomplish nothing. So when you want to create a dynamic, developing character, think of a steam engine. A character should have a fire of motivation that creates pressure. They then can channel that pressure to move things based on desires and inclinations. They should move to change themselves and to change the world around them. And any change to their internal system should have external effects. If something is choking their motivation, they should slow down and lack energy. If you block an output for their power, the pressure inside should build up. The person should become unstable and hot-tempered. And likewise, if you stoke the fires, they should be able to accomplish more. If a leaking, broken system with corroded parts is suddenly fixed, then it should run cleaner and stronger. A good character should be in a constant state of modification and repair. Parts break pipes burst, valves leak, and their interactions with the world and other characters should either repair this damage or make it worse. So when you're looking at making a new character, ask yourself, where do they get their steam? What is pushing them forward? Then decide how they should use that energy and where and how they should lose it. The human psyche is a system full of interdependencies. You can't affect one section without causing a rippling effect through the rest of the system. So you must take the time to think through where the pressure is and how it is going to escape in a way that helps the character or in a way that breaks them down. Thanks for listening, and good words to you all.